I got books. Hi, welcome back to my channel, Manga Hoarder. My name is Laura, and today I'm doing an unboxing haul video. Um, Chapters was having a buy two get one free sale, which I think is pretty unusual. It was just on adult graphics, as far as I know, and it certainly wasn't applied to a lot of older titles, so it was released in like a couple years ago. Didn't seem to apply, but I still got a ton of manga, um, and it, this is primarily catching up. There's a lot of series that I am very happy to be finished buying thanks to this haul, so um, it's going to be primarily, I think, seinen manga, and uh, I'm really pleased with the titles I got. Um, I haven't seen them yet. I'm assuming I'm pleased. I'm pleased with the order that I put in. I, you know, looked at it a couple days later and I was like, yeah, I don't have no regrets with these. So um, we're just gonna dig right in and see what I got. So I'm gonna start out with some of these little packages and hopefully they'll kind of come out in order. Um, so the first title that we got here is Uniyashiki by Hiroya Oku. I got volume 9. I think this catches me up to what's current. I thought this was the last volume, but there might be more coming, um, you know, just reading the last page. It looks like there's more, so I'm not entirely sure, um, but definitely if there, if this is done in 9 volumes, I'll put it up here. If not, I will tell you, I guess, if it's ongoing, um, but uh, happy to catch up to this one because there's a little gap in it and I need to uh, get this one up to speed. So another little one. Ah, this is a good one. Um, so these ones were not actually on sale because they were, um, I think because they were a younger target demographic, um, but they were kind of necessary. Uh, the first one, because my sister is reading it, this is The Demon Prince of Momochi House by Aya Shoto. It's uh, volume 13. It's also um, fairly thin. Um, it feels a lot thinner than um, other volumes, but um, she's been keeping up with this one, so she was asking me to pick it up. So we're caught up with that one, and then the other one, which is the one that I am currently following pretty, pretty heavily, fiercely, um, is uh, Skip Beat by Yoshiki Nakamura. This is volume 42, um, and I'm very excited to see where this goes. It was quite exciting in volume 41. She was about to get the part um, and playing this really cool ninja character, and I'm really, really excited to see where this is going. So this is one of my favorite ongoing series at the moment. Thankfully, it's still ongoing. And then we have another one. Um, so I ended up getting Yotsuba Volume 14, so this catches up to what's current. This one came out in about like September, October last year, so a little late, but I am reading Yotsuba this month, so I definitely want to make sure that I was caught up. Um, and I am currently, I think, on Volume 12, so I will definitely get to this probably in a couple days. Um, this is by Kiyohiko Asma, and it is a delight, and you should be reading it if you're not. Um, I got another volume of Inuyashiki. This is the gap that I said I was needing. So this is by Hiroya Oku. This is volume 6. So I was actually missing volume 6, so I now have volumes 1 through 9. So this uh, catches me up, which is great. It's annoying having gaps in your collection because you never know when a title is going to go out of print and then you're missing a volume, which is annoying. Um, I ended up getting volume 4 of Nekogahara Straight Cat Samurai, but this is by Hiroyuki Take. Um, this is a... Um, kind of like an alternate history, or it's history told uh, with all cat characters, um, and uh, it's... I really enjoyed the first volume, although it was very punny, um, and I think that this this one is... oh no, this one has another volume. Why do I keep thinking that there's a final volume? So volume four uh, is not final, and I think I have volumes one through one and two. I, we'll probably see more, so... I don't need to guess about that. Um, and then this one does complete the series. This is Slumbering Beauty by Yumi Unita. It's volume two. Um, it's only a two volume series. Um, it is a Jose manga. It is kind of a quiet and um, 
relaxing series. Um, it's basically about a girl who is discovers that she has the gift of putting people to sleep. She is employed by the sleep, uh, the god of sleep, or someone who helps people sleep, you know, the Sandman, I guess. Um, she is employed by him to help uh, wake people up and put them to sleep uh, at night. Um, so um, that's basically what this is about, just sort of very quiet, uh, dreamy type story. Uh, now we have a little box, and this one was kind of silly of me to buy um, because I do already own this from Tokyo Pop. Um, but that is Wish by Clamp. It is an omnibus, so it's uh, complete in one. And um, uh, and I'm not entirely sure if this one's gotten a retranslation, just because it is uh, moved from translator or moved publishers. So I suspect. I suspect that there's been a retranslation, but um, I guess I won't know until I compare them. Um, but I did want to pick this up, and I'm kind of on the verge, or kind of starting to think about maybe collecting all of Dark Horse's uh, clamp publications, just because they will look so nice um, on the shelf. I do have a handful now, and there's quite a few that I'm missing, and now that um, other publishers have been picking up clamps um, titles, or kind of taking over the uh, licenses of them, um, the Dark Horse titles are going to be harder to find, so I do want to kind of maybe get on that. At any rate, this one should be fun. And there's actually only three titles in this box. Um, the other two are from Natsuki Takaya. This is Twinkle Stars. Um, so I ended up getting Volume 4 and Volume 5, and you can see how big they are. So Volume 5 is just a huge omnibus. It's got to be about three volumes, and uh, Volume 4 is about two. Um, I think that this one is complete. Yes, finale, it says. Um, so that's great. And um, it's always great to have titles finished. I will definitely get back to reading this one. And I'm glad this one isn't too long, because I don't. I feel like it had a bit of a rough start, so I wasn't super invested in the story. So I will definitely now get back to it. I wonder if I shouldn't read all of the Natsuki Takaya titles that are available to me now, though, all at once, and then just sort of look at all of her titles. I'm not really sure, because it's been a long time since I read Fruits Basket as well. Um, I can't really remember what this is about. There was something about a birthday and a boy appearing on her birthday, like as a guest, and nobody knew who he was, something or other. I don't really remember. But I will right, look at it again. And then lastly, we have this big box which is quite a bit heavier than the others. So I have a feeling I know what's in here because they're heavy books. So this is how it was packaged, actually in plastic with a cardboard on the back so it doesn't slide around. I'm not too worried about hurting my books even though it's uh, sliding around. That is how you should be packaging your books when you send them to people. Um, some people are not doing this nice of a job. Actually, I think the only other person or only other company that I've been shipped books... Okay, there's two others. One other is Amazon Japan. They ship their books beautifully. Amazon Anywhere Else ships their stuff like garbage. And uh, my comic shop ships their stuff beautifully. Um, so chapters, good job. I wasn't expecting nice ship books. So I am now caught up with I Am A Hero, this is by Kengo Hanazawa, volume 7 and 8. Um, I think there's only going to be about 10 or 11 volumes and it's supposed to be done this year, so I wanted to just be complete so that, um, or caught up so that when the final volumes come out, I can just buy them as they come out and not be really far behind. Um, and I am going to wait until this one is completely done before I go back in and start reading it again. Um, I have read the first volume, possibly a little bit of the second, and I think I put it on like my favorite of the year that I read it, which is probably two years ago, three years ago now. It's fantastic, really unusual zombie manga. Um, beautiful illustration and really twisty and uh, I really liked it so looking forward to seeing a conclusion so I can read it. 
I also got Inuyasha Key Volume 10, so it, this is the final volume. I thought I had bought the final volume, but then I had only remembered buying two, so yeah, I got confused myself. Uh, volume 10 is finished, so I can now go back and look at this one. This one's quite brutal, um, but the protagonist is a senior citizen um, who ends up getting superpowers sort of by accident. Um, a spaceship lands and... Um, kind of gets rebuilt as sort of like a million dollar man. Um, the first volume was uh, both heartbreaking and incredibly disturbing and really exciting, so I'm really hopeful for this title and looking forward to reading it. I think the main reason that that box is so heavy is because I got the next uh, two volumes of Blade of the Immortal. This is by Hiro Hiroaki Samra. Um, so volume six and volume seven um, and these are really the best uh, types of omnibus that Dark Horse produces. Um, they're in good condition, so Chapters did a good job shipping them. I wouldn't have expected as much if I had bought these off of Amazon. These are just uh, really crisp, very white, um, like printer paper, uh, really just nice edges, really nice inks. Um, and I am really, really enjoying Hiroaki Samurai. I haven't read any of Blade of the Immortal yet, um, so I'm looking forward to it. But again, this is another title that's supposed to be finishing this particular publication soon, um, and definitely when that happens, I will get in and just read it through. I have a feeling this one is going to be very bingeable, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, this is the title that I only bought two of. Oh, and one of them is not looking good. Do I care? Oh. oh, it's okay. That's some glue or something on it. Um, so that is Happiness. This is by Shuzo Oshimi. Um, this is sort of a vampire-ish coming-of-age story. Um, and I was missing volume 6, just like I was with Inuyashiki. And then I have volume 8, which does catch up to what's current. Um, and there hasn't been a new volume of this one for a while, and I'm not sure that we're expecting to see one for a while. So I don't know... Um, how much more of this is going to um, come out this year, but um, the art is good, and this one also has just like a really atmospheric, um, really clever art style, which evokes emotion, which um, you don't see a lot of in kind of uh, standard manga. Um, I don't think that this is quite catching up. I think I might still be missing a volume, so hopefully that'll come. I have... I'm just going to keep this video going until I've got everything from this particular order come in, but um, this is Princess Jellyfish by Akiko Higash Higashimura. Um, so I have volume 8 and volume 9, and volume 9 is the final. And uh, according to up there, I have to volume 6. So I hope I ordered volume 7. I did have some problems with ordering on chapters. Sometimes it was um, just removing titles from my cart, which was kind of unusual, but um, I'm hoping that I have the whole thing because I wanted to uh, catch up with this. Um, I have read a little bit more of this one, um, but I do want to go back and start over again. This is basically the story about um, a group of uh, girls, girl otaku, who live in an apartment complex, and um, they are incredibly socially awkward, and someone sort of from the outside helps them kind of realize themselves, I guess, uh, see more of themselves, and also maybe to help them save their apartment, which is um, going to be torn down. I think that's the general premise. Um, I had a lot of fun reading it. I actually had so much fun reading it, I bought the anime. I watched a little bit of the anime, I put it away. I did not enjoy the anime at all. Um, so I'm hoping that uh, the manga will save it for me, and maybe when I'm done the manga I will go back and try the anime again. Uh, we will see how that goes. Ah, and this one I think is, this one is also the final volume, Neko Gahara Stray Cat Samurai by Hiroyuki Take. So I bought volume four and five. I should have the entire series of this one now. And um, yeah, I think this one is going to be a really unique read. Um, the art in it is is really fantastic. I hope this isn't spoilers because it's the final volume, but the art in it is, is fantastic. Uh, Take has a, a really great style. It's just very quick, very sketchy. Um, very sharp, and um, I think it'll it'll really work in this. Anyway, I think it's going to be fun. And then the last volume is a spoiler for my haul for Write Stuff that I placed last June 2018, and I'm still waiting for 
because I have to wait for one title to release, which happens to be by the same author, and it just keeps getting a release date that's getting pushed back further and further, and it's really annoying because it's almost been a year. Um, so this is Captain Harlock, the classic collection by Leiji Matsumoto. Um, there is also Battleship Yamato, which I'm waiting for to be released, should come out in April. I should potentially, fingers crossed, get my haul then, which will include volume one and two of this series. Yeah, it is becoming incredibly frustrating. And, um, you know, if you, it's sort of uh, when you are buying things from abroad, um, you know, the US doesn't feel like it's that far until you start shopping. And then you're just like, wow, do I ever feel that border, that dividing line between Canada and the US because uh, they sure make you jump through hoops. Um, you know, a year to wait for titles is is just ridiculous. That's probably the worst customer service. And uh, I'm just going to continue to wait because I had a good discount on those particular titles. I've got four more packages here. Um, and I'm not entirely sure which volumes they are because I haven't been keeping as good of track of these last couple of orders, but they are still from the same order from chapters. Um, and I don't know how many more volumes I've got. I know I at least pre-ordered one, but I think everything was supposed to have come out this month. So, um, this may or may not be the last clip, let's just say. Um, so at any rate, I'm just gonna start opening these and let's just see what we got. Ah, so first up we've got Monthly Girls Nozaki Goon Volume 10 by Izumi Tsubaki. And uh, this is a Yonkoma title. And it's not one that I'm actually currently reading, but my sister is and I know that she was eagerly hoping that I would open that book. Open that box. Oh. And it looks like I should have opened it a little bit earlier because it, as you can see, is uh, quite wrinkly. So it was probably um, out in some moisture, which is really sad. I don't like that. So hopefully my other books are in better condition than this one. Because um, I don't think there's much going, much uh, fixing that. It's not too bad. Maybe when it gets uh, stuck in a really tight shelf, it'll straighten itself out. At any rate, I uh, have the next volume of this. My sister will be very happy. Um, this one I'm very excited about. This is, I think, the only new title, new volume one title that I picked up. This is Love and Focus by Yoko Nogiri. Um, this is the same author as That Wolf Boy Is Mine, which I have and have read and was quite cute. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to reading another title by this author. I think this one's about a girl who has a passion for photography. Um, she loses someone dear to her and clings to her art as a relic of the close relationship she once had. Um, and I like the way that the... the uh, I just really liked the, the characters in the previous story. It was quite short, um, maybe a little too short, wrapped up a little too quickly, but I liked uh, the way it was written, I liked the characters, I like the way it's drawn as well. So I have high hopes for this one. Uh, looking forward to reading it. I'll have to double check because I can't remember if I bought volume two. This one has got a strange size to it, I think, because it's got such a wide margin here. And it is a slightly different trim size than kind of a standard manga, uh, My Boy by Hitomi Takano. Um, I've only read the first volume so far. It was quite good. But again, like, um, it is sort of an age gap relationship. I don't think it's going to be a romance, but it could walk a fine line. Um, because the, the boy in question is quite young. Um, so I'm very curious to see how this story progresses, where it goes, um, and uh, looking forward to reading it. But it is very, like, I don't have very big hands, but, you know, that's, that's the size of my hand there. So it'll be kind of awkward to read, I think. It's a little, it's a little too big for me. At any rate, uh, different size, but an unusual story. And then lastly, our last one here, it's a little bit bigger, so it's either, I feel like it's probably two volumes. Oh, or just one big, big volume. Um, and then this is another volume of I'm a Hero, this is volume nine, by Kengo Hanazawa. And I think I showed other volumes already in that previous clip. So the last thing I ended up getting in the chapters haul is 
the eighth volume of Blade of the Immortal. A uh, pretty big volume, um, but not as big as possibly the one right before this. I can't even remember. Um, they're still kind of in a stack waiting to get catalogued so that we can put them away. Um, I am going to be collecting this entire series before I start reading it, just because it is near the end and it has um, has been releasing really quickly, so I think I'm just going to wait until it all comes out. I am really looking forward to it though because I have I have read a couple of Hiroaki Samurai titles up until this point now, um, and I've really, really enjoyed them, so I am really looking forward to this. I think this is going to be a really good read, so I can't wait to get into it. And then the other title and last title I'm going to share with you is Kitaro's Yokai Battles by Shigeru Mizuki. Um, this is just the next installment in the Kitaro series that's being released by Drowning Quarterly. Yeah, Drawn and Quarterly, and um, I really enjoy this series. This isn't part of my chapters haul, though. This is uh, something that I pre-ordered over a year ago, and it has finally arrived. So I was really pleased to see this uh, show up on my doorstep. Um, I love uh, Shigeru Mizuki. I think his art is is brilliant. It's beautiful. Um, he does a mix of like very, very cartoony characters. Um, and then he combines it with um, beautiful landscape drawings. Um, he just has a, a, got a gorgeous hand. Um, yeah, it's just really wonderful. The stories are kind of a mix. Sometimes they're really fun, sometimes they're a little bit boring. But I just really enjoy reading his title and uh, I'm glad to be collecting it. I'm glad there's more coming out. Anyway, uh, so that's everything that I've gotten over the last month in March and um, I thought it was a pretty good haul. Lots of um, catching up to series which I haven't been doing quite a lot of and a lot of complete series which is just fantastic. I'm so happy when series complete because that means that I can stop buying them and stop spending money and uh, it saves me some money. So. Um, yeah, I was really glad to see quite a few titles uh, complete in this haul. At any rate, let me know what you're buying down below and let me know what it is you're currently waiting for, the next volume of, what's your favorite series that's currently ongoing. I'd love to know that down below. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>